Now let's discuss on the calculation of ionic radii further. So ionic radii is proposed and it is defined properly by the great scientist Linus Pauling. Pauling has calculated the radii of the ions on the basis of absorbed internuclear distance in four crystals, namely sodium fluoride, potassium chloride, rubidium bromide and calcium steroid lactolite. In each ionic crystal, the cations and anions are isoelectric with inert gas configurations. Here is Pauling method. I got the sodium fluoride crystal which got Na its oxidation state is 2,8 for fluorine it is 2,8. This is of Ne type configuration. You got 2 here and 2 here. Over potassium chloride you got 2,8,8 and for chlorine 2,8,8. This is EAR type configuration. Now, we got the two assumptions to assign the ionic radii. The cations and anions. of an ionic crystal are assumed to be in contact with each other and hence the sum of their radii will be equal to the internuclear distance between them. So radius of cation plus radius of anion is equal to the bond length of cation and anion. So, I am on the, I got the bond length here. So, it is internuclear distance between cation and anion in a cation anion ionic crystal. I will move on to the next assumption R. Uh, the important point should note for the calculation of ionic radii based on Linus Pauling research. For a given noble gas configuration, the radius of an ion is inversely proportional to its effective nuclear charge. So, radius of cation is directly proportional to 1 by the nuclear charge of cation. So similarly radius of anion is inversely proportional to the effective nuclear charge of anion. On combining the equation 2 and 3, these two, so out of cation divided by radius of anion is equal to the effective nuclear charge of anion divided by cation cations nuclear charge. This is how the equation is formed. 